Welcome back. In this module, taxation. Let us now look at a very important aspect related to finances. Taxes. Tax is the money that people have to pay to the government and the government uses that money to pay for public services such as education, health, police, army, roads and so on. It is therefore a source of income for the government. It is important to understand about taxes while dealing with the money. Today, we will try to understand the concept of tax as it affects our day-to-day -day life. There are two types of taxes, direct tax and indirect tax. Let us say you buy a cup of coffee and you get a printed bill. You will see in the bill two line items, CGST and SGST. These are the little extra amount that we pay on purchase of items such as medicines, clothes, shoes, scooters, jewellery, furniture, etc. This extra amount is called tax. However, there are some items which are exempted from taxes, meaning you do not have to pay tax for them, such as vegetables, fruits, whenever you receive a printed bill to see the tax component. The tax amount is your contribution to the government. These are indirect taxes. All salaried citizens are expected to file an income tax return or ITR. There is a minimum income level. If you cross that, you have to pay income tax to the government. Earnings are not only from the salaries, but also includes income from other sources such as rent on properties, annual interest earned on savings, consultancy jobs, part-time jobs. All earnings have to be added to arrive at the monthly and annual earnings in a year. The tax varies from one income slab to another and it is changed periodically by the government. If you look at the various savings instruments, you will realize that some of these like PPF are tax saving instruments while others like KVP are fully taxable. Permanent account number tax filing becomes very useful when you apply for loans. It also improves your credit ratings. PAN is an identification number assigned to all taxpayers in India. All the taxes you pay are linked to your PAN card. It is useful for claiming tax refunds and is an important KYC document. It is a good practice to file taxes. In the next module, you will learn about the different types of digital forms of payments.